Hi y'all. What's growing in April? And uh, let me just go ahead and show you. I was thinking of another name for this video, like what will you do when your canned food runs out? But I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at what's growing in April. And the idea is to have food in the ground year round. And uh, I think my physical year started in uh, October when I planted the uh, daikon radish and all that stuff. Okay, so I got the pump. I got the 100 foot line going to the center of the pond right there or the water tank. My pump's not working, but uh, I'm gonna hook up the line right there to send it all the way up to that blue tank over there. But let me just go ahead and uh, I'm weeding right now and uh, been thinking for a while how to make this video. So, let me go ahead and close this. Always keep your gate closed because a cow can sneak in. And uh, I still got a weed over here, but let me show you what's growing in, uh, in April. Now this is the daikon radish. Look at all the butterflies. It's a butterfly attractor pollinator so I got daikon radish in here see that right there daikon radish you see that which is good because now I know daikon radish will grow in April you know this is carryover and I also uh, planted some right here the seeds must have the seeds must have came off the top of the mound but anyways, let me carry on. So I got daikon radish. Real quick, I got daikon radish, potatoes, sugar beet, onion, spinach, cilantro. I had seven things in the ground. Oh, carrot. Well, let me just go ahead and hit the daikon radish. I got the daikon radish. I got potatoes I got I've got 80 potatoes in the ground uh, the okra and the carrots that I planted uh, a couple weeks ago or last month uh, they haven't sprouted yet but uh, let me show you right here I had one carrot plant that uh, it was it was a stray somehow got potatoes right there and I went ahead and harvested some and replanted them. You know, hopefully it'll take. I replanted all the uh, stray uh, plants from the weeding. But okay, so daikon radish, potatoes. Uh, let me go ahead and pull that. One little carrot. Carrot, three of them, I guess. So replant that onions so that's four crops right there well yeah daikon radish potatoes carrots sugar beets and look here I'm here I got the daikon radish going to seed see that it's all going to seed and I've been weeding in here. And there's a there's a sugar beet in here. Okay, this sugar beet right here. Okay. Look at this. That is that's 500 calories between the actual root and the uh, the leaves. Let me go ahead and put it over here 500 calories okay that's a lot of food and uh yeah look, look at that sucker man three of those and you could survive for a day you're gonna get skinny but you'll be all right oh here's the other one cilantro i forgot to mention the cilantro look at that now the cilantro has a pretty big uh it has a big tap root 
See that? That's why once you plant it, it kind of like sticks around for a long time. And uh, this is the spinach. As you can see, some of it is going to seed. Potatoes, onions, okay. Um, it's kind of rough weeding. I'm doing it by hand. Let me show you. See that? I'm halfway done, but I've got to get rid of these potato. Um, you know, the crops in the center of the row. It's kind of hard to walk through there. So I want to try to figure out how to make sugar. Because if I can take them sugar beets and figure out how to make sugar, I could store it long term. So yeah, that's it. And let me show you where I'm putting the weeds. There's a reason why you want a big compost pit. And remember, I made mine a six feet by 30 foot compost pit. And here's why. These are the weeds I've been putting in the ground from, from the center of those rows. Look how, much, look how much that is, okay? This was like last year or two years ago. Nothing but leaves from down in the gully. And this is right here, and it's not done yet. It'll probably fill up all the way up to the stick right here. That's two years. So, you want a huge compost pit. Uh, uh, well, this is a half acre garden. You want a huge compost pit. Now, uh, after I pull the weeds, I gotta plant that Asian bean in here. Remember, I planted okra and carrots in here but they haven't sprouted yet. And I put a reminder in my notes to plant uh, cabbage, cabbage, daikon radish, um, sugar beets, and some other stuff in October. That way I won't forget, okay? Now, I didn't plant anything in here or over in here, and those are two or three year old onions, or over in here. Uh, I didn't I didn't have time to get to it now the thing is this is if you try to go too much and you can't take care of what you already planted you're gonna lose everything I learned that on year two okay try not to go try not to expand too fast because uh, you got to learn how to how to manage your time on this okay uh, it's pretty good though, but you got food year round. That's the whole goal here that I'm trying to do is have food year round. So April did pretty good. I got seven things in the ground. Um, daikon radish, uh, potatoes, sugar beets, uh, onions, uh, cilantro, carrots, and spinach I've got seven things that I know will grow in April I should have planted the carrots in October so I gave myself a note to plant those carrots in October okay see y'all later it's looking good you don't want to run out of food okay if you run out of food you're gonna get desperate when you're starving see y'all later you don't want to do uh, something you should you know something you wouldn't want to do just because you're hungry. But most of us, uh, we're not gonna make it. That's just, you know, it's just the way it is. Most of us aren't gonna make it. Even the ones of us that are prepping are gonna have a hard time surviving. Because this is a lot of work right here. See y'all later.